What is going on guys, Miles here, and as you guys know, the Blackout free trial began yesterday, and I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of people who are playing Blackout for the first time, so I decided to make this video where I'm going to go through some of the basics in Blackout, and talk about like some of the items which you want to look out for when you're playing this mode. So the first thing I'll talk about in this video is the gliding mechanics in Blackout. I quite like the gliding mechanics because it allows you to travel almost anywhere in the map in Blackout, even if the like helicopter path isn't that great for you. So what you want to do is as soon as you drop out of the plane, you want to look directly down until you're going about 60 to 65 meters per second. Once you're going that fast, then you want to level out horizontally and you will still be traveling fast, but your altitude will be dropping very slowly. And that basically allows you to travel anywhere in the map where you would like to go, which is a really cool feature. Probably the most important part of Blackout are the weapons which you'll be using in game and it might be a bit confusing for new players because there isn't a tier system for weapons like in Fortnite or something where if you see a gold weapon then you're going to assume it's probably decent at least but in Blackout you just have weapons and their names so it might be a little bit confusing and I would say the best weapons in Blackout are the sniper rifles which would be the Paladin, the Outlaw as well as the Koshka. I won't mention the SDM because because to be honest that feels more like a semi-automatic assault rifle to me and it did recently get nerfed so I don't think it's that amazing anymore but if you see the Paladin, the Koshka or the Outlaw you definitely want to pick those up because they are the sniper rifles and they have amazing range which is good for the huge map in Blackout and they also deal massive damage as well which is really important when people are running around with armor. Out of the sniper rifles I would probably say the Paladin is the best weapon in the game because this weapon I think has the highest damage of the sniper rifles and it allows you to like two shot people even if they have level 3 armor so that weapon is absolutely amazing but the thing with sniper rifles in Blackout is that they are quite rare and there will be some games where you just won't find any sniper rifles whilst looting so my go to setup when that is the case is the double assault rifle setup. Basically, if you see one of these five weapons, which are the ICR, the SWAT, the ABR, the Rampart, as well as the KN, these weapons are pretty good in my opinion and they are quite common as well. So when I don't find a sniper rifle in a game, I will be using two of those five assault rifles which I mentioned earlier. But you have to be quite careful when using this double assault rifle setup because the ammo system in Blackout is different to multiplayer. In multiplayer every weapon has a unique type of ammo but in Blackout there are a few different types of ammo and then there are multiple weapons for each type of ammo so you don't want to kind of mix two weapons which have the same ammo type because that will mean you will run out of ammo very quickly. For the assault rifles and the tactical rifles there are two main different types of ammo. We have the 5.56 ammo as well as the 7.62 ammo. And with the five weapons I mentioned earlier, the ICR, the SWAT as well as the ABR all use 5.56 ammo. Whereas the Rampart as well as the KN57, they use 7.62 ammo. So if you want to run the double assault rifle setup, you want one weapon which uses 7.62 ammo and then one weapon which uses 5.5. So for example, a good setup would be an ICR as well as a KN57, but a bad setup would be a KN57 and a Rampart. Typically when I use this setup I have one high zoom optic on one of the weapons, typically the 5.56 weapon because they tend to have less recoil, so that would be things like the 2x scope, the 3x scope and the 4x scope, and then for the other weapon which is typically the 7.62 one, I will use a basic sight like a red dot or an elo sight, and I'll use the 7.62 weapon at close ranges and then the 5.56 weapon at long ranges. So that's my summary on weapons in Blackout. I should probably give an honourable mention to shotguns, which are the Mod 12 as well as the SG12, because these weapons are very good in the very early stages of the game. For example, in like the first few minutes when you're looting a building and there's like two other guys in there, shotguns would really be good in that scenario, but after like five minutes they aren't that amazing and you should probably swap them out for an assault rifle. 
Moving on to perks, these are items which can be consumed and they give you bonuses but only for a limited amount of time and I'll split the categories of perks which I use into different portions of the game. So for the early game which would be like the first 5 to 10 minutes, typically I like using Skulker as well as Mobility. Both of these perks allow you to move faster and therefore loot more areas and then rotate into the first circle without getting hit as much by the storm. In the later stages of the game I like using Dead Silence which muffles your footsteps so they are much quieter and also Awareness which allows you to hear enemy footsteps a lot louder. These perks are very strong but they only last for 2 minutes so you kind of want to save them to the later portions of the game when the circle is much smaller and there isn't many enemies left. As for the situational perks, the first one is Iron Lungs which allows you to hold your breath longer. This one is very useful if you have a sniper but if you don't then it is kind of useless. The second one we have is Outlander which allows you to take less damage from the storm and also you move faster whilst in the storm. This can be quite useful in the early game if you want to loot an area for longer and it is also quite useful in the late game because you take a ton of damage from the storm in the later portions and you Using Outlander will reduce that damage by 50%. Finally, as for different types of equipment, the tier 1 equipments which would be the best in the game, I would say are cluster grenades, concussions as well as sensor darts. If you find any of those items you want to always pick them up if possible because they are all very strong and they will help you win games. And the tier 2 equipment would be things like frag grenades which are slightly weaker versions of cluster grenades, grapple guns which can allow you to move around the map a bit faster and they are quite handy if you want to move underwater a lot faster as well as trophy systems which can block incoming enemy projectiles. These equipments are quite nice and if you have spare space you should probably pick them up. But there we have it, that is my introduction guide to Blackout and the items you want to be looking out for whilst playing the game. Hopefully some of you guys did find this guide useful, if you did leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Black Ops 4 but I'll see you guys in another video.